Hi players, Lillian here from the Yoga Vibes headquarters bringing you your sixth mobility exercise for your January Whole Life Challenge. We're going to mix things up a little bit this week and offer you a myofascial release class led by Yeni Tarma. So for myofascial release, you'll want to have a block nearby as well as a myofascial release ball like this one from Rad Roller. If you don't have a ball like this, go ahead and grab a tennis ball that will work just as well. You'll work on rolling out tension in the feet, calves, hamstrings, and glutes to increase mobility as well as tissue hydration. We hope you enjoy. Hi there. So this video is going to take you through some myofascial release techniques. A couple of basic guidelines. We're going to be working in the belly of the muscle uh, and avoiding direct pressure on the bone. So we're always staying in that soft, fleshy center part of the muscle. We're also staying away from any nerve pain. So that's any tingling or shooting or numbing sensations. Good indicator to move away from that spot and find something else close by. Uh, we're also staying away from any areas that are excessively sore or bruised or swollen. Um, it's also important to work at a level of intensity where you can still relax into it. So all of this should feel pretty pleasant, even though there's obviously going to be some sensation and a little bit of intensity, just the same as with any type of massage. Now, we'll go through this kind of quickly to just learn the techniques, but you can pause the video at any time to spend a bit more time with something that feels helpful to you. Let's get started. You're going to need two myofascial release balls or tennis balls, lacrosse balls, whatever you have to hand, and one block. So we'll just start with one of the balls here. You're gonna have it out in front of you on the mat. And then just put the center of the arch of your foot right over the ball, lean in a little bit to get a decent amount of pressure. And then all you're gonna do is just roll up and down the arch of the foot. So think about basically connecting that space between the pads right under your toes and the heel. And take a couple more passes through the center of the arch of the foot there. And then we'll just move into the inner arch. So right between the ball of the big toe and the inner heel. And you can really moderate the intensity here with how much weight you lean into it. And then same thing, we'll just move to the outer arch of the foot. So between the ball of the little toe and the outer heel. Good, and then just loosely kind of rolling back and forth in any areas that feel good. And then come back to a standing posture. So just have your feet about hip distance apart. Go ahead and close your eyes for a moment and just notice if even after that little bit of work, there may be already a difference in the sensations between the arch of the foot that you did versus the other one. And we'll head straight over to the second side. So second foot, center of the arch right over the ball. Lean in a little bit and then just roll. So up and down in the direction of the fibers. And then going into the inner arch of the foot between the mound of the big toe and the inner heel. And then over to the outside edge between the mound of the little toe and the outer heel. This one's a little bit more precarious, so you kind of have to uh, make sure the ball doesn't shoot out from underneath your foot. And then just roll a couple more times just across the whole length and width of the plantar fascia. And then find your standing position again, just easy stance there, close the eyes. Again, just check out the differences between right and left if there are any and the tissue texture already maybe feels slightly different. Awesome, and then come on down into a seated position. You're gonna need your block for this next one. So just have it on the lowest setting out in front of you. You're gonna sit yourself down and then place the, uh, the ball on the block and the center of your calf right over it. So your other leg can be bent here. You can lean back on your hands. And just let the full weight of your leg relax down into the ball. And you could kind of roll from side to side a little bit. So you're getting uh, movement across the fibers of the calf muscle. If you wanted to, you could press into the foot that's on the floor and your hands pick your hips up and then just kind of roll along the length of the calf muscle. So again, we're trying to stay away from the Achilles tendon or the tendons at the back of the knee. So just staying in that soft, fleshy part of the muscle. And most people will usually find some good spots to work with here. 
and then just find a spot that you wanna stay with, lower your hips back down to the floor, you're gonna point and flex your foot a couple of times. So this particular move, the pen and stretch is really good for tissue hydration and just maintaining mobility, the ability of the uh, tissues to glide over each other. Good, and then just bring that leg back down to the floor. Straighten your other leg as well. And again, close the eyes, notice the difference. Now let's go over to the second side. So shift everything over, place your second leg, just a soft, fleshy center part of the calf right on the ball. And then bend your other leg for support. Good. And just a little bit of side to side rocking there. And then maybe picking up the hips, rolling up and down a few times in the direction of the fibers. So you're really working kind of in the top half or two thirds of the lower leg here. And then just find a good spot that feels like somewhere you wanna hang out and work with a little bit longer, lower your hips to the floor and then just flex and point. And none of this is a particularly exact science, so as long as it doesn't feel painful and you don't have any of that nerve pain or uh, pressure on bone or anything, you sort of have license just to experiment and explore and find things that feel good to you. So it's sort of just uh, more of an exploration than anything else. Good, and then let that leg move to the floor, straighten the other leg, again, close the eyes, pause and notice what the differences are, if there's a noticeable sense of progress or just a difference in the texture of the tissues there. And then we're gonna move on to the hamstrings from there. So now you'll need both of your balls. You're gonna be kind of in this loose, wide-legged seat. So if you find your sitting bones right in the gluteal crease, you're gonna place the balls just a couple of inches below that. So one ball on either side, right in the center of the hamstrings, a couple of inches below that bony protuberance of the sitting bone. You can lean back on your hands and then just roll the feet in and out a few times. You could even rock the pelvis from side to side to get some of that cross fiber movement. And you can adjust the intensity here as well. So leaning back is gonna take some of the weight out of the balls. Moving your hands forward is gonna put a little bit more weight on them. So just kind of find something that uh, gives you noticeable sensation but is still really tolerable, something that you can work with. And from there we're gonna move the balls down a couple more inches, so maybe two inches down the hamstrings towards the knees, and then same thing, just rock the feet in and out a couple of times, rock the pelvis from side to side, and adjust the intensity either by moving your hands further back to make it more mellow or walking them further forward for a bit more weight there. Just a little bit more pressure. And this can feel really good, especially if uh, in the time that you're immobilized and just waiting for your tendon to heal, if you wanna just get a little bit of direct manipulation and some mobility work in the hamstrings. All right, so we're gonna move the balls down one more time, just another couple of inches. You should be about two thirds of the way down the length of the thigh from the hip to the knee there. And then same thing, just roll the feet in and out a few times. Maybe the whole pelvis rocks from side to side. And then as there's already naturally a bit less pressure here on this part of the leg, maybe you just walk the hands forward a little bit more, kind of lean over the legs. Awesome, and then go ahead and move the balls out from underneath you. Just have the legs out in front of you loosely, and then you just lean back on the hands for a moment as you close the eyes, and, and just with your mind's eye, check out the sensations in the backs of the thighs or the tissue texture. There could be sort of a circulatory flush or a warmth there, or a sense of even fluffiness in the muscles. Now you're welcome to stay seated. I'm just gonna demonstrate this next little bit to you for the placement of the ball. So we're gonna move into the glute area, the glute maximus. Now, um, the 
bony markers that we're going to be using for the ball placement uh, are around the sacrum. So the sacrum is this bony plate at the bottom of your low back that sits between the two halves of the pelvis. If you find it with your fingers, you'll walk up to the top of the sacrum, so right where it meets the low back, the vertebrae of the low back. And then if you trace the top of it just with your fingers moving outwards, uh, within a couple of inches, you're gonna find these little bony nodules on either side. So these are your markers here for the placement of the balls. We're basically gonna put them just about an inch below those bony, bony points there. So it's not in the softest, fleshiest part of the glutes, but just a little bit above that. Uh, and it's not quite on the bone of the sacrum, but a little bit outwards from there. Find your way down onto your back, bring your balls with you. And then as you lie down, you're just gonna have the knees bent. Again, you can lift your hips up and just relocate the bony plate of the sacrum. Maybe walk your fingers out a little bit and find the bony nodules there. And then just place the balls directly below them, about an inch down from the bony protuberances there. Now this might feel really intense right away or you might not feel very much at all, so feel free to keep experimenting with the position of the balls. What you're gonna do here is just let your knees rest into each other and then walk your feet a little bit wider. Now this can feel super relaxing and nice just to stay here and chill. You could take as much time as you wanted to and pause the video or just come back to this later. If you want a little bit of movement here, prop yourself up onto your elbows and then you can just kind of roll up and down on either side of the sacrum. This is a surprisingly tender area for a lot of people. So maybe just a, an inch or two in either direction, just rolling up and down a few times. Good, and then if you are propped up on the elbows, just come on down to your back again. And from here we are gonna move the balls uh, into the center, the soft, fleshy part of the glutes as well. So if you think of your glutes as two big ovals, you're gonna just place the balls right in the center of the ovals. And then feel free to experiment and move things around just to find some place that feels a little bit tender, like a good spot to work with. And then again, you can just stay here, which can feel super, super nice. If you wanna experiment a little bit further, cross your right ankle over the left thigh, and then just rock your legs over to the right, like you're pulsing in and out of just this gentle side-to-side -side rock. Lovely, and if you do have uh, this thread the needle position there, go ahead and switch it out so your left ankle will come to your right thigh. Little rock over to the left and back. And you'll notice that there's more pressure and more weight in a pretty specific part of the glute that has the crossed leg. So you get some new sensations here. Awesome, and then uncross that ankle. Just take another couple of breaths here with the balls kind of just sinking up into the glutes. Then go ahead and just remove the balls out from underneath you. You could keep your knees bent and the knees resting into each other if that feels good, or just extend the legs out. Couple of big breaths here. Feel free to close the eyes. And just with your mind's eye, checking out the lower body, if there's any changes or anything at all that you observe here. And again, if you do have some time to spare, just stay here and enjoy the rest for another few moments. Otherwise, whenever you're ready, bend your knees, roll over to the side, and then press your way up to a seat from there. All right, thanks so much, enjoy. Mm -hmm.